Hello, bitches. Hey, guys. Welcome back to part two of my Glee rewatch uh, season two, episode six reaction, Never Been Kissed. If you haven't checked out part one react, the... If you haven't checked out the part one react, uh, whatever. If you haven't checked out part one of this reaction, <laughs> that's what I say. Oh my god! Click the link in the description. In oh my god, what am I doing with my life? If you would like to check out part one of this reaction, click the link in the description box below to watch that one first. Otherwise, let's just get right back into this episode. Kurt and Blaine had a really deep and meaningful little chat, and that's gonna, you know, give Kurt some courage to confront. David Karofsky, and uh, shit's gonna happen, and let's get right back into it, let's go. Please, be straight with me. Oh, no. You're the only person at this school I trust. Oh, my God, don't, because I feel so sorry for her. Please. I don't want you to take it personally. How can you not take it personally? You know how they can be. Just, just tell me. Uh, they, they, they sort of want to cool off a little think of you oh my god that hurts imagine what beast would be thinking right now like imagine like hearing that how would you feel like that's just disgust that's devastating like i i just want to hug her so much i want to give her the oh my god how can you not take it personally Will? thank you i take it very very personally how did you think she was gonna react? Will come on. Oh, you should be our nation's president. <laughs> it's a ton of point. I've been squeezing your life for like the last hour and a half. So oh, you dine and don't dash. dine and dash. That's an asshole move, man. Adi, I respect him in this house. You need any change? If you don't want my help, then fine. You're on your own. You're just gonna leave him there? How's he gonna get back? Go off. He's down on his love. It's tough. So tough. Lesbians, are you doing okay? Because, like, I mean, these women are amazing. Like, holy shit, are you doing alright, lesbians? Like, you're good. Oh, cute. Take my. Oh. Go off, Rachel Berry. I stand. Sometimes. Take my hand. That is a cover. That was one of my other favorite covers. I live for that. Like, I love, I love that cover. This is why, this is one of my favorite episodes, because of the covers. The songs just make these episodes so much more better. Like, I live for it. I love it, I love it. Got Beast fired. Oh, she quit, right? And my full budget is restored. <laughs> Same. You know what? I aspire to be his extra suit, just saying. And if you wouldn't mind just cleaning all this up, <laughs> that might be great. I love how he's reading that. Oh, no. Bitch! It's so unnecessary, man. I hate it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, I need a moment because this scene that's going to happen literally destroyed me and I was shocked when I saw this episode for the first time, okay? So... Okay. What is your problem? Yes. Excuse me. What are you so scared of? Besides you sneaking in here to peek at my I'll junk. I'll piss off. Every straight guy's nightmare that all us gays are secretly out to molest a convert. Hey. Well, guess what, Hamhawk? You're not my type. Don't push me. You hit me because it's not going to be No, no, no. I you can't punch the gay out of me any more than I can punch the ignoramus out of you. Stick out of my face! You are nothing but a scared little boy who can't handle how extraordinarily ordinary. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember watching that for the first time, and like I was, my, I was like, oh my god, I was shocked. Like, oh my god, like, and I know it's like such a, a trope, like the high school, like, uh, the the football guy, jock, whatever. It turns out to be gay. Like, I know that's like that was like that's like the trope, whatever. But like, this was the first time like, we had seen it happen. Well, I had seen it happen, and this was like the first, you know, this began the trope, I think. So like, oh my god, I, far goosebumps, man. And then, like, Karofsky's story, like, in season three, like, bitch. Yeah, oh my god. Far out. Poor Kurt, man, I wanna hug him. 
I am actually ashamed of you. Me too! You really hurt someone who was a great addition yes, to this Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, what exactly did we do? No, no, it's us. It's your boyfriend, Kurt? Come yes, on. it is, actually, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Next. Not yet, but, like, it will be. <laughs> I stand. Like, Kurt told me what you did. Ooh. Oh, yeah? What's that? You kissed me. Hard thing to come to terms with, and you should just know that you're not alone. Yes, exactly. Do not let me go. Leave! Stop this! Oh my god. Shit, shit. You know what? I have to really... This storyline, like, hurts me, but, like... Obviously, David's not ready to come out of the closet yet, which is fine. But him taking it out on Kurt because he's sees how proud Kurt is and how open he is and how he can just be himself, he's... Karofsky is, you know, he's jealous of Kurt. And that's why he's taking it out on him, but then, like... And then in Season 3, which I'll probably react to that episode, um, we'll see, you know, when you see what happens when he come, he gets outed and, like, shit, be, like... It's... I, I feel sorry for Karofsky later on. Not now. <laughs> later on. I feel bad. I feel bad for him, obviously. Because until yesterday, I had never been kissed. Uh. At least... On the camera. I know I can be a little intimidating sometimes, but deep down inside, where she's just no a girl, see, just a girl. That's right. But I just want to be reminded of that sometimes. No, it's not. You deserve that, honey. Well, that's what dating is for. <laughs> Never been kissed, Will. Honey, it's the simplest thing. I love her. What's that say about me? Coach Beast is amazing, is an amazing woman, and I'll stand, okay? Anyone says shit about her, I'll fight you. I'm 40, and I haven't even taken those baby steps yet. What that says to me is that you are a beautiful, amazing woman. That's right, that's right. Whose heart is just too big for most men to stand. Oh, that's so cute, Will. That's, I'm, I'm crying, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm getting emotional. That's really, this is, you know what, this is one of the scenes where Will Schuster actually is really an amazing, has become an amazing character. This scene made me respect Will so much more, and it's one of my favourite scenes of Will, like, let's be honest, and I fuck love it. Will, I think I'm pretty well. Yes, of course! Inside and out. <laughs> and then he kisses her! I love that he did that for her! That's so sweet! I'm gonna cry again. Shit, sorry. Now you've been kissed. <laughs> you tricking me into a make-out session, Schuster. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Okay, now listen. <laughs> listen. I don't know where the fuck Kurt got that photograph of Blaine and why it's already framed and hung up in his locker. If Blaine gave it to him, that's low-key weird. But if Kurt did that, that's also weird. If he, like, how did he, he must have gotten his yearbook, scanned the photo, enlarged it, and put it into a photograph? How the fuck did I know that? Anyway, sorry, but like, I, I, my personal opinion is that I think it's a little weird that he puts a picture of Blaine straight away in his locker. At the same time, though, can you blame him? Cause Darren, Chris, uh, can uh, can you blame him? I don't think so. So I can, I respect a, <laughs> I respect a man. Oh, piss off, really? Far out pisses me off this season. And you know what? No matter how much of a jerk Karofsky was to Kurt, Kurt never outed Karofsky ever. He never outed him. I don't get it. A mashup. Why don't you guys just oh, keep this? Oh, cute. Totally. When you smile, you're pretty, and it lights up the room. Seriously. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. Ah, oh, his voice. <laughs> oh, Mike is so cute. I liked it. <laughs> oh, bless coach, man. Thank you. I love it! That's the end, right? Yes, it is.
Alright guys, so that was the end of my reaction to 206 Never Been Kissed. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, it, I re-watching this again, I realised how much I actually really, really love this episode. Um, because of all the issues, like the songs are on point, the storylines are on point. Didn't really care much for the, uh, Puck and Artie story. Yeah, it was alright, meh. But like, the Kurt storyline, the Coach B story, like, it's just so powerful. And like, knowing what happens in the show with David, like you... You, you kind of, I mean, watching it, I feel sorry for him, but if I didn't know, then I'd be like, he's such an asshole, but, like, knowing what happens, I do feel sorry for him, and, like, he's, it's just, it's, it's tough, but, like, the way he picks on Kurt, and bugs the shit out of me, right, but, like, knowing why he's doing it, now you find out he's gay himself, and he's jealous of how open and proud Kurt is, it's just, it's so powerful, and, like, what happens in season three, oh my god, so... Amazing, and then we had the introduction of Blaine and the Warblers, and I live for it. Um, Teenage Dream cover, I stand by that cover, as one of my most favourite ones of the show, I don't even care. Um, so that was my reaction, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and which episode would you like me to react to next? I'm feeling like you want me to react to 216, am I right? Let me know, and I'll see you guys later on for another video soon. Ciao for now, love you guys, bye!